Raya's first location is in Leornia of the Lakes, next to the Bird's Eye Telescope, in the Laskia Ruins. This is the location. You can actually miss this part of the questline, this is not necessary, but this will get you a free teleport to the Volcano Manor, without having to go through the Rune Struin Precipice, or having to find the Dactus Medallion. Please. Over here. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. Only... He, too, is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. After you speak to Raya, she will tell you that she needs her necklace, that somebody took it, a thug, nearby. You have to travel to the Boil Prawn Shack and speak to Blackguard. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing neat. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, piss off. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked, it is. All right, then. It's yours. If you can meet me price. I could be persuaded to sell you some other bits too, if you've got the runes. You're tarnished too, ain't you? Can you see it then? The guidance of grace, I mean. I can't see it at all no more. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get called to the lands between. Cruel bloody joke, you ask me. Maybe something went tits over with it. Maybe it's been broke for a good long time. The earth tree, I'm saying. Oh. So you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sort the particulars of the matter. But it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. After you speak to him and acquire the necklace, return to Raya. She will be located at her original location. The thug should be resting at an please. Oh yes, that is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya. In the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor, I seek stalwart Tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Brave Tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished 
are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage instead. You must seek the old ruins in the cliff at the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift. There's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends. Linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau, I have faith in you. A champion through and through, I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the old ruins in the at the base of the After valley. you speak to her and return with the necklace, you'll have to travel to the ravine. The ravine is actually nearby here on the location on the map. Feel free to pause the video when I so showed you the map, but yeah, it's located north of Liernia. Uh, and it is a site of grace next to an actual ravine. After you reach the site of grace called the ravine, at the ravine, you sit at it and then go straight into the ravine and uh, go past the enemies that have that big lump on their back and just keep going straight. Do not deviate from the path. If you do decide to go to the right though, there will be another side of grace called the Church of Bellum. There is a tier there, but I assume that you've already gotten that one. So go straight until you find uh, another side of grace that's next to a wooden ladder. After you reach this side of grace next to a ladder and a campfire, all you have to do is go up the ladder and progress through the area. It's pretty straightforward. Just take your time with it and finish it. I'll be showing you some clips of what you have to do, but essentially you have to make it to the very top of the ruin strewn precipice and defeat the magma worm Makar. Once you reach the fog wall, you'll be able to summon Blackguard and uh, Tragoth. You may choose to summon these NPCs if you want, but it is not strictly necessary. I would suggest to just summon Blackguard to progress through his storyline, or simply just do it by yourself. After you defeat the Magma Worm Makar, you'll unlock a set of grace and an elevator. Go up it.
After you reach the very top of the elevator, you'll find yourself in the Altus Plateau. Get the Side of Grace on the left, and then after you sit at it, you'll want to go forward past all these coffins. I think they're coffins. And uh, you'll trigger a boss fight, a dragon. Uh, this dragon cannot be killed, but you can damage it to the point where it moves to another area. So you may choose to just keep riding or to continue and kill the dragon. It's your choice. After you make your way past the dragon going straight, you'll find another set of grace, and you'll find yourself at the Lux Ruins, next to a Golden Seed tree. Here is where you'll find Raya again. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Once you make it to the Volcano Manor, either by walking here or getting teleported by Raya's first part of her questline, which is optional, talk to Tanith and uh, join the Volcano Manor. Perform one assassination by picking up the letter in the drawing room and then return to Tanith and collect your reward. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith. The proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you. A warrior of promise. I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor? And resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace? Or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us. Against the Erd Tree. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave Tarnished, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. After you speak to Tanith and collect a letter, you'll have to perform one assassination. Kill the target by going to Limgrave and then return to the Volcano Manor, collect your reward and speak to Raya once again. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true. This is your reward. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, 
But for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, Fi, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. After you speak to Raya again, sit down at the side of Grace, skip some time, and then you can meet her in one of the rooms that you have opened previously. Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. Reset the area again and she'll be in her human form. Speak to her again. Rest at the prison town church side of Grace and then return to Raya and speak to her in her human form. Um. Oh! It's you! Forgive me. My mind never ceases to churn of late. Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the Volcano Manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? After you exhaust her dialogue a couple of times and tell her the truth about the Volcano Manor, you'll have to actually complete the first part of the prison town in the Volcano Manor and reach the boss fight, this red church. It leads to the Godskin Noble. Make sure you defeat him and then grab the item at the end of the boss fight. Return to Zarias and give her the item. Lady 
Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know. How I was born, and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. I want to know... After you rest at the side of grace, Zoraya's will be gone from the manor. If you, you can speak to Tanith here. This is optional. She said that to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zoraya's has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zoraeus has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. No. I haven't seen Zarias anywhere. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? May I ask your aid? Not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zarias' mother. If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion, to purge that which would cause her pain. Yes, I know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. But I... After that, travel to the Godskin Noble boss fight arena, go up this elevator on the right, and follow the path. You'll encounter Zoraeus once again in the dungeon.
After you progress through the Volcano Manor dungeon, you'll encounter Zoraya's in this location. You have three options here. She will ask you to kill her. You should probably not do that because that's pretty sad. Uh, you can also give her the potion that Tanith gave you and she will forget everything and she will be living in a lie. Or you can choose to kill Rykard and then return to her. Oh, it's you. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child. Born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual. Something that can never be accepted. Not by men, nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. That you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing, but this, free me from this accursed frame. After you defeat Rykard, you can actually return to Zoraeus's last location and speak to her. After you speak to her after killing Rykard, you can reset the area and actually return to her to find some items. If you chose to spare her and not give her the tonic or to kill her, she will drop a letter. I wish to set out on a journey, so that one day I can carry on mother's work, be the proud daughter of Tanith of Volcano Manor. Farewell, you've always been so kind, so uncompromising, my champion. She will also drop a talisman, a disturbing likeness of a woman whose skin was flayed. She smiles with a serene tenderness, increases damage taken. It is said that this woman named Dedeka indulged in every form of adultery and wicked pleasure imaginable, giving birth to a myriad of grotesque children. This is the end of Raya's questline. Please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you, have a wonderful day.